Welcome back to Groundbreaker International's YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the year 5781, the prophetic time period that we're in, give you an update of where we are, and I believe that where we are going. I'm going to use some things that I talked about in some of the other videos right now. Um, in that decade of the pay, I've been talking a lot about the supernatural invading the natural. And in this upcoming year, uh, 5782, we are getting ready to see the supernatural invade the natural like we've never seen before. I talked about that in this past video. Now, we're about halfway there to the year. We're getting really close to the halfway point. And so I wanted to relay this to you as we're keeping that theme in mind of transitioning into a period of the supernatural completely invading the natural and what that means. Now, I made the statement in one of the other videos that the word Aleph flipped around. So the year that we're in, the Aleph, the pay decade and the Aleph year, the word Aleph flipped around is the word Pele. So it's the Pei, the Lamed, and the Aleph, as opposed to the Aleph, Lamed, Pei, to spell the word Aleph. Now we have the word Pele. And that word Pele means wonderment, amazement, absolutely jaw-dropping. It's a picture of awe. I really truly believe that what we are getting ready to see in the back half of this Hebrew year, so for the next several months, I believe that we're going to see some things that are absolutely going to floor us. I truly believe that this is the time period for the true church to arise. And I truly believe that there is a move of God that is not coming, but we are already there. We're already beginning to see it. We're seeing things uh, like worship and praise sessions breaking out in large city areas. We're seeing signs, wonders, and miracles breaking out into more public arenas outside of just the four walls of the church. We're seeing a lot of things happening right now. We're seeing the true church rising up, and we are beginning to rend our hearts to God. And I believe that the more that we rend our hearts to Him, that we completely give ourselves over to Him, the more of these supernatural things that we are going to get to experience with Him. It's not just going to be sightseeing. It's going to be actually participating with God with all of these signs, wonders, and miracles. So I look at that word Pele, and I see the wonder and amazement that is getting ready to happen over the next several months. And I'm telling you, church, buckle up and get ready. Get on the right side with God. Stop playing games with Him, because I think that even some of the wonder and amazement, you see, you can, you can look at the wonder and amazement, those words, one way, and we can look at them in a positive manner and say, Wow, it's going to be so great. It's going to be so wonderful. Now listen, I didn't necessarily say that it's going to be so fun and wonderful. It could be, but there could be some persecution that comes to the church. But that sounds negative, doesn't it? However, look at the book of Acts. Read the New Testament. They were seeing wonder and amazement. They were seeing miraculous things. And I remember in the book of Acts when miracles would break out and the people would say, surely we have seen strange things today. I believe that we're getting ready to see even stranger things happen and occur than we even saw in the book of Acts. Because in the last days, which we are in, God is pouring His Spirit out on all flesh in a manner like we've never seen before. I believe that we're getting ready to see some wonder and amazement come even through some persecution because the persecution many times will squeeze the juices out of the church and it will cause us to become pure and refined and ready for the coming of the Lord. And so let's look at this not negatively, all of the backlash in the political realm, all the backlash in the medical uh, things that are going on right now and all of the crazy things that have been happening over the past year. Let's not look at this as a negative. Let's look at it as God is allowing things to happen to refine the church, to get the church into position to advance the kingdom of God forward in the end times here. Now, I talked a little bit about that letter Lamed there, which is the middle letter of the Aleph. I've been talking a lot about the Lamed. 
in how the Lamed is a picture of a shepherd's staff, a goad to prick, to incite. And I believe that God is taking his shepherd's staff and he's poking, he's pricking, he's inciting the church into action. He's inciting us to pray and to fast and to believe and to raise our levels of faith up because we're getting ready for the time period of the supernatural to invade now, the natural, and you're about to see jaw-dropping, mark my words, in the next few months, you're about to see things. Some of them may not be fun things to see, but you're about to see things that are absolutely going to bring the sinners to their knees, and you're going to see things that are going to bring the shallow churchgoer to their knees as well, I believe. But even through all of this, we're still going to see the false church continue to rise because in the last days, we know that happens according to, Chris, uh, to Scripture, that there's a true church and a false church, and the true church is being refined right now. The false church is being revealed and exposed of who they are. And so let's keep our eyes on Jesus. It's vitally important to rend our hearts to Him, to completely rip ourselves open, and let Him have every piece of us during these times. It's vitally important, church, that we become the church, that we don't just talk about being the church anymore. We don't just go to church on Sundays. We don't just watch church online. We become the church. We get into the presence of God like never before, and we allow God to take us into the season of the supernatural. Are you ready for that? Listen, until next time, God bless you. God bless your family. We'll see you real soon. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that notification bell so you can receive updates for when new content arrives. Also, be sure to visit our website at gbreaker.org. From there, you can learn more about Groundbreaker International. And if the Lord leads you to do so, you can sow a financial seed of blessing. Now, I would like to invite you to check out one of these other videos from Groundbreaker International's YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless.